Well, hello, friends, and welcome to another video. We are here to make these into permanent, um, well, some of them are automatically permanent because they are made with UV resin, but the ones that are not automatically permanent, such as the plants and the bird, we are going to make them permanent by virtue of gluing them. I'm also going to uh, save some of the new products, like this uh, Monstera bag is new. I don't want to ruin the bag. I found the equivalent dirt in my collection of stuff, and I found one that's all kinked and won't look cute in a display. So we're going to use that dirt to replace this dirt so we don't use the good dirt. And I also really hate the pot that it came in. I think that this tile pot is ugly. Like, I'm so, I just, I don't want that in any future uh, toy home that I shall build. So I'm going to trade that out for one of the pots from the other set of Miniverse. Oh my good lord. <sighs> Does it, it barely fits in its box. Do better. Okay, uh, so I'm going to replace it with this one that came from one of the many cactuses that we got as duplicates last time. And um, I probably will replace at least one of these bags with the regular white gravel from another set and I will not be giving up the adorable bamboo stake that comes with a little clip. I will be using a piece of straw or using nothing at all because I want to save this for the little plant shop display I plan to make. Uh, as well as the cordage, I have plenty of like sashiko thread that we can use for the birdhouse. Uh, and I think we will also assemble the bird's eggs in the house before we put the roof on. Because I think that will just make it easier. Uh, otherwise, we'll probably, I will probably just speed through most of this so you're not watching it forever. But I wanted you to know what I was planning to do just in case it looked confusing when I traded out all of the items for other ones. And I still have our little shelves here that came with for us to put the finished product on. All right, well, let's make these three together at least, and I will uh, see you on the other side when they're all done.
and here's how we did. I am yet again obsessed with these. Um, I found it annoying that it took forever and a day to get that to cure because obviously it has to go through there. There's not really a reason to have all of that. I've also had to rebend the flowers, less than ideal. Uh, however, the system did in fact work because they used clear resin in a semi-translucent container. Um, also, we have now officially white glue, PVA glued in these, which I think gives them a nice look. And you can go back and clean them up a little bit with a wet Q-tip. But again, adorable. Um, like, really good quality on the painting and everything, especially on the bird, I would say. Um, this doesn't exactly fit. Most of these do not actually fit on their shelf, just to, just to be clear. Um, I reused rocks from other sets so that we could keep the very cute bags. These will take a day or two to dry. Just takes that long for the white glue to give up. But like, look how nice these are. So well done. Really good. Don't understand why these are cheaper than the other ones. Uh, we got some new really cute boxes, which look like they're trying to get uh, the vibe of a books box. I don't know if you've ever gotten one. The birdhouse box, absolutely adorable. And then here is our birdhouse. I did admittedly fiddle around a bit more so that the eggs were visible from the side. I didn't want the bird to be on the side. I just, and I also didn't want it completely being lost in one second. So I glued him into the doorway, or her. I'm actually not sure who takes care of the eggs. I would assume it's the female. I'll Google it and let you know if the cardinal female does not care. Well, this is a male cardinal. The females aren't red. Well, anyway, he's checking in on someone's eggs, his own or not. But I did push down some of the fluff into the glue uh, for a bit longer once it was more tacky so that the eggs would remain visible. And our bird is put in there with two-part epoxy, as you saw, because that dries faster. And I still had to leave it propped up against that one to keep it <laughs> um, like up against the edge. But I always put in my little calico critter bunny so that you can kind of get a vibe for the sizing i think they're perfect for like her garden area if it's if it's her that, that becomes the gardener we haven't we haven't decided on all of their roles in the in the calico critter universe anyway super happy with these um love the new designs on everything and really happy to have those to add to my future display Super happy. All right. Well, let's hope to open some more and get many more duplicates of birds. We need all the birds. Okay. See you on the next bird hunt.